since we revealed the game that they use their weapons more than they ever have. I mean, in Kano, that shines through. He, he uses his knife all the time in a lot of his animations, and he has, uh, like his back two is a good example of what you're talking about. So he doesn't have a string off this, but he does get a slight pop-up. Mm -hmm. And this is kind of the, the move you'd use at this space. But up close, I'm sorry. I was gonna say it's good advancing, it has reach. Exactly. Right? But it's not a full strength. He cannot like confirm into a full strength. You can get good damage off of it with like say back to two two ball is really good. Yes. Oh, you can get some good damage off yeah. of that. But up close is I think you're right where he excels. He has a lot of combos. He has um he can do his knife and then he can go into an overhead. Oh I love that. We'll get into more of that later. Or he can go into a low. And while it's not a direct 50-50, it is one of those where the opponent's going to have to like really be looking for it and, and know to stand up after the first hit or the second hit. And right. It can mix people up if they're not paying attention, which will lead into his throws, which are <laughs> super cool. Awesome. So let's go into his special moves. Sure. Unless there's any other normals. Oh, there's a couple normals. There, there's actually a few normals. Yeah, there's a about. few. Um, first off, he has a really good overhead. It is a little on the slow side, but it has pretty good range, and it splats them through a while. And it is complemented by a really good low. I love it. This is a great follow-up. So this is going to be one of his core mix-up tools that we've been talking about. He can also, instead of doing the stomp, actually cancel into a special move. I don't know why you wouldn't want to do this, though, but... If you want to get more damage, you can cancel. The overhead... Well, that, the thing, that, the thing that, that can be... Like, that's very useful for him, the fact, like... The, so a combo that I like to use with him does use two of the bars. If you yes. only have one of the bars, finishing off with the stomp is how you finish off a combo with grab. Like that's that. a great point. Um, the overhead, you'll notice, does not combo them. So he's not... As a repeating thing in this game is a lot of characters will have an overhead and a low mix-up, but only one will actually pop them up for a combo, and he kind of continues that. I guess I, I guess to, to say, because people might not see it, when you do the step on them, that doesn't take meter. That's the continuation of a, of a, of a string. Yes, yes. One final normal I'd like to show is, it's again, it's not a combo, but it's a good range to move, is his back three. He uses his boot knife. Again, he's not going to get a combo, he's not going to get a follow-up, but this is how he kind of competes in the mid-range. So mm -hmm. he's really good up close, but in the mid-range, you're going to want to use back two and back three. And this actually is one of his crushing blows. So every crushing blow has a different requirement. This one is the move has to be a counter hit. So if he hits the opponent who's trying to throw out a move, he's going to get the crushing blow. So the idea here would be he's kind of sitting at mid-range, dashing in, throwing knives. If he thinks the opponent's going to do their long-range move, like... For example, the axe I showed, if he throws out the back three and catches them, he's going to get real big juicy damage and you're going to break their bones. And it'll happen more than you think probably too, because a lot of the characters from that range, those moves that they do have from there are a bit slower. Exactly. There aren't a lot of super fast long range yes. moves. So that's kind of the balance of the move. While he's not getting a combo, this move is faster than the typical mid range move, yeah. so he can actually beat attacks. And with the crushing blow requirements, that's kind of what we're going for. We think about the meta of the game, why we'd use this move, mm -hmm. and this is like the coup de gras of the move. Like, it's right. good as a counter hit move, so the first time you get it, you're gonna go into the crushing blow. Mm -hmm. But, to be clear about the crushing blow requirements, if you're the type of player where you just think Kano looks cool and you wanna play arcade ladder, you're gonna get this one exactly as you said, on accident. Like, it's gonna happen. Like, yep. like, you don't have to worry too much about, I don't understand what a counter hit is. You're getting counter hits, even if you don't know no, how you're... Yeah. Yeah, it's, that's, not just, that's not just the ladder, either. You're going to get a lot of it from the, me and Derek are just spamming on each Absolutely. other. It's just like not blocking. I, uh, I don't spam everything. I'm, I'm just calculated. So let's huh. go. Okay. You, want, you want to move on after There's that? There's no calculation. <laughs> when you two play, calculation is definitely not happening. Not even spelled with a K. We'll sure. see. So... Uh, the base loadout is pretty much what you expect from Kano. We really, his ability moves really are very unique. They're pretty much, a lot of them are new moves. His base moves is, it's MK1, MK3 Kano. He's got his knife toss. It's exactly what you want in knife toss. You can, you can amplify it. Amplify yeah. to vote two, good recovery, travels real fast, and Kano balls back. It would be weird to me if he did not have Kano ball. And you can also amplify that. Yes, you can amplify it. He does an X marks the spot kind of thing there. And Air Kano balls back. He does this Ooh, big drop it. kick. So that's his base set, and then it's up to you how you want to play him. And he is, his ability moves are extremely versatile. Yes. So let's go over loadout. We started with actually 
your loadout. This is literally the one that you use. Well, you didn't show some of the stuff that's involved with it. Yes. Gotcha. So the first thing we added, it actually changes up his combo attacks, and he gets new extenders that he didn't have before. Right. For example, he can amplify this string. Oh, I love it. He's just it. a dirty fighter. Yeah, yeah. that's like just that's awesome. Yep. Yeah. It, it's so it's it's funny to me like the little tiny things that the the, the team has put in that, that just that elbow yes is actually to be more brutal than the knife agreed agreed so he also has this low string and he can actually amplify it and get a pop up and lastly this ability it's one ability and you get all these kind of normal attacks together he gets an extension on his overhead where he actually kicks you away. I like he what kicks you and you slide over. Yeah, I love the slide. And look at the animation as he's recovering his leg. Like, it's so... What a scumbag. <laughs> <laughs> the second thing we gave him is called Snake Bite. And that is a big combo starter if you amplify. And I understand uh. you know a lot about Snake Bite. Why don't you talk to us about that? I will. Snake bites a really, it's a really good move to uh, to kind of continue combos. It's dangerous just to throw out there because it is unsafe. Yes. Um, but if you use that in the middle of a combo, it, it's definitely a good extender. Um, you know, you're going to catch people uh, with it just straight up, but it's dangerous. What kind of combos could I get off a snake bite? Is there anything you know about that? Bert, can we see the? Can I get a camera real quick? Oh boy. Here's your Tyler moment. I don't know, not just the whole team. The whole team. Oh, okay. Whole oh, team. how see, generous. See how he was confused? He see was. how he was confused? He what was. A I, I'm a hard ass. Okay. Uh, so I have created a combo that mm -hmm. I, that I'm, because I love Kano. And Steve, I showed it to Steve and I was just like, he might think it's cool, but it, it's whatever. It's something that I came up with uh, that well, I hadn't seen anywhere. I'm going to be honest. Yeah. A lot of times you use Slack and you tell me to come to your desk to see a combo. Works on UI, did a lot of the stuff for the combat cast. Has said if I get it first try, he'll donate $50 to a charity of my choice. Wow. wow. Uh, I will match it. Okay. Okay. Uh, if I don't do it on the first try, I'll also donate $50 to a... Okay. It's National Women's Month, so a woman's charity. I will, okay. I will do... So, okay, so to say... Can I, can I tr try the string no. real quick before I go? Uh, no. No. No, there's no warm-up. Right, when fine. you're playing fine. for fine. top eight at a tournament, you can't warm up. All right. Okay, here we go. Go, Lansdowne. I, I, I was, no, no, I, no I'm, I'm fine. No, so uh, you watched me do it before the stream, and yes. I did it like four times in a row. He's thinking the buttons yes. right now. He's trying. Oh, to... I can. I'm allowed yeah. to do that, right? That doesn't count as doing it. Well, you're stalling. You're this stalling. is literally Philip. Because I do this so many times. So I, just I, no, I'm nervous. It. I'm nervous now. All right, here he goes. Here's the Dundee. All right, here's the Dundee. Oh, I missed it. No, there's oh. one. There's one. All right, Dundee. Oh. Oh, oh, that's two. All right, that's one two. more. You got it. You got it. You don't have stamina. Oh, three. You know, I didn't have stamina. Does that, that count? doesn't count. It that does doesn't count. count. He that should have been count. aware. He should no. have been aware. Whatever. Why do you want me to fail? <laughs> okay, <laughs> calm down. Calm okay. down. Yeah. You're letting him get to you. Yeah, don't, don't let me get to you. Oh, it's over. All right, over. you're falling apart. We're at, we're at like six. Ooh, oh, seven. Take it. Take a slight break. You know what? Walk Ignore away. Derek. Walk, oh. We got it. We got it. Yes. Oh. I really thought I could do it first try. Hold on. I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm not quitting. This might be a four-hour stream. <laughs> uh, I'm going to get a drink. Does anybody need anything? There it is. There it is. The Boom. Dundee. That was it? So I'll have to do it. Yeah. But I really wanted to. That's the, that's the combo. It's pretty cool. Uh, I wish I would have. I, I was so good at it today. I'm very frustrated right now. Well, you oh, need. I mean, you had the pressure of this. Right. right. Like, like, you need. Not. When you practice, you need Derek screaming in your ear. Yeah. You know what? I can record something. I'd rather right. miss it than do that. There, so, uh, just you gave right a slight preview fire. of the last move you equipped, which yep. is the Lumbar Check, a brand new command grab that is so cool. Ooh. So, you love two-player animations, you love command grabs, yes. you can talk about this move. Uh, I was, there There are like, so I, I really love the animations in the game as a whole. There have been like four things that involve sort of command grabby, sort of two-player animations. When we say two-player animations, it's animations that like both the characters kind of work together to do right. in a way. There's, there's like four of them in the game that I, when I saw them, I was just like, okay. <laughs> so, and this was definitely one of them. Um, so, so this also has a neat crushing blow I'd like to go over. So, a couple weeks ago it was asked, when they do a wake-up roll, is it invincible and what can you do to beat it? Remember that? Yes. Yes. The answer is throws. Throws will actually beat the invulnerability of I think we've mentioned roll. that before, but we haven't mentioned that command grabs, all yes. being a throw is the so, same thing. So, so you can just ball all over them. That triggers the crushing blow. If you read they're going to do a wake-up roll, you can go for the command grab, and if you successfully grab them out of a wake-up roll, 
you get the crushing blow. Yes. And Steve, can you can we do it one more time to just see what you know? I mean, just some of the damage. That is eye popping damage. And then it's damage over time. Yes. It's still taking. Yes. yes. Like. Woo-wee! And that's a good point. That every crushing blow does extra. St- it's not just damage. Some of them do dot. Some of them actually pop you up for a combo. Right. There's a lot of different reactions that a crushing blow can right. have. Uh, super exciting. Um, oh, this that that you just did a move we should we didn't talk about. Yep. Yep. Forward three, this actually is one of the ways that he can defeat characters that outrange him because it goes under high projectiles and it covers a lot of range. Now, this is unsafe, so he's taking a risk and it doesn't do a lot of damage, but this is what I would call a conditioning tool. Conditioning with a K, of course. Mm -hmm. The opponent is going to want to outrange Kano and outzone Kano, but they have to look for this. And then that sets up Kano. What just happened? Exactly. Today I was just going to mention that. Would you say that a lot of his stuff is unsafe? Yes, I, I would describe him as an unsafe character. Right. He kind of has a tool for every situation you could ask for, but it's high risk. He's a YOLO guy. Like this. I mean, this is a guy that's been in, in the business 15, 20 years, crime, running from the police. He's like, kill a lot of people, bury a right. lot of bodies. Right. And we tell you, we, uh, Steve and I played a little bit beforehand. I, w- I wasn't. I was. I just wasn't playing very well. And then Steve kind of told me to add some of these things into my game. And then the next round, like, I did a few of those things, and I actually won the round because yes. I was able to get Kano's game going. Yep. Just off of that move alone, really. Like, yeah. there's yeah. more to it than that, obviously, but... you got to think of it when you use an unsafe character. While the opponent is going to punish you if they block this, if they block this, you don't have to use that anymore, and then you can dash in. Yep. So let's go over to another loadout. This one... It's called Bad Dude. It's called Bad Dude. No. Oh, I like it. No. And so the first thing, and <laughs> he has the classic MK3 costume. I do love that costume. The first thing I gave him is his Vegemite uh, buff, where this does two things. This yes. buffs his Kano Ball moves, and they do additional damage, and they actually have armor. Ooh, boy. Ooh. So, again, if you're playing a matchup where you're getting zoned out really badly, mm-hmm. This is the perfect answer to it. Once you get this out, his Kano Ball becomes extremely dangerous. You're gonna go straight through any projectile. In there. The other thing I gave him, this is very cool, is Molotov Toss, where he tops his Molotov cocktail on the ground, and they are doing dot damage while they're standing in this. So, you can imagine the possibilities here. So you'd throw it out and just put pressure on him, right? Exactly. For example, if you have Lumbar Check, it'll do dot damage during the entire Lumbar That's Check. awesome. Yeah. And then lastly, I gave him the bio trap. This puts a magnet on the ground, and if the opponent is in it, they cannot jump. Mm-hmm. So if you have a character that excels at 50-50s and grabs and command grabs, you can imagine not being able to jump out is pretty strong. Right. And can you throw that at different distances? Too, yes, to you just can. Sort of make setups and whatnot? Yes. You can also mix and match a lot of these tools. So you can have this out while you have this out, and then go for your command grab. It's dirty. The bio trap does one other thing that's very neat. So normally Kano's knives are high. If you have this out on the playing field, the knife actually is sucked into its magnetic pole and becomes a mid. That's awesome. This is a great round ender. It's a great way to get chip damage because the opponent's going to have to block these fast projectiles. Well, naturally, the magnet's pulling the metal down. Yeah, I mean, it makes science. perfect sense. It's, is and Kano, if anything, is a man of science. Absolutely. There is a reason that he actually was hired by Shao Kahn to be how to teach Outworld's Earth's weapons. Right. I mean, he made his own eye. Yes. Right? No. A doctor made it. The same doctor that worked on Suha. Did he later kill that doctor? Almost certainly. Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> I think when you get out of surgery like that and they hand you the mirror, you then kill the doctor. Yeah, yes, you should. That was kind of... I'm Lord. That's you good. have to start off at, like, petty theft and right. work your way up. Yeah. All right, so in this one, I replaced the knives with a new projectile, which is actually his eye beam. He looks fit as hell. Yeah, I really like this. This, he's, this is while he's at his club. Right. <laughs> yeah, sitting back there. Sleeping. Yeah. Oh, we're going to fight. <laughs> Oh, so this projectile is extremely fast, and you can see it has a ton of real estate. It covers like most of the screen when it passes. The downside is it does not have the amplify. He cannot have the double, but on its own, it's even better than the knife. Right. Rumored to have a crushing blow. Rumored. It, it may. Rumored. Hmm. The other thing I gave him here is his rack off parry. Rack off. <laughs> what are you Bert? That's what it's called. Great name. His move list is really something. Well, I, I was lucky enough to have a great Australian friend, Corey, that was like, I was like, hey, what are just a lot of crazy Australian terms? And he just sent me a list of them. You and know he made up two fifths of them. Two fifths? Fifth, I don't know. A half of them. I, I, I don't know. I checked some of them out with Brendan, too, and it seemed to be okay. pretty accurate. 
And lastly, he has Chemical Burn. And this is a really fast special move that you can use to end combos or pokes. And he will actually dash away as he does it. You can see if they block, he what actually gets away. Chemicals? Uh, it's definitely something Kano would do. Ugh. Here? And this has a really cool amplifier. And then he has a bottle of bleach. <laughs> Throws a cigarette lighter and lights you on fire. He is a nasty. Ugh. Does the nasty does the guy. does the bottle of uh, the, the the Molotov cocktail also light that up? Uh, no. Okay. I don't think if it does, I don't know about it. Does it? Uh, I'm not sure. Okay. <laughs> that was super awkward. I, I feel like I did. Sure. I feel like it did at one point. Uh, Maybe that could have changed. I mean, that's the thing is, Everything's yeah, we talk about this, you know, games and development. So yeah. How many lighters does he have? A lot. He right. smokes a lot. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> uh, what about his fatal blow? Because I think it's really, really good. Oh yeah. <laughs> the kick is actually my favorite part. It's just so unnecessary. The, the one at the oh the yeah the kick to your the side is yeah. just just rude. Well, you know, he is but rude. he is a bad yeah. dude. He's a bad yeah. dude. So that is Kano. That's Kano. I think mm -hmm. he's a extremely versatile character. Well, I think start. This is the start. We kind of wanted to maintain the pose from the original one that we're making an homage to. A real low bend. A real low. Getting in. Uh, then of course the first punch. As you see, the storyboards are pretty basic. We don't we didn't flush everything in quite yet. Yeah, these aren't for like. Beauty there for to show people who are making mm -hmm. them what it's supposed yeah. to do. But it's the basics. When we're iterating ideas on ideas, it's super cool to see. This is the second level of first mm -hmm. someone's just talking about it, right. and then Tony kind of gives us the. This is you can you're starting to visualize how to look before yeah. it gets to the cinematic aspect. And just right. like any brainstorming session, like somebody will have to throw something out, and that idea gets better, and that idea gets better, and that yeah. idea gets better. So like to say that like, you know, this is all me just doesn't exist. There is yeah. almost no. Fatality that I've ever seen where one person just has an idea and it gets in the game. It's usually, well, this character's never done this before. Wouldn't mm -hmm. it be neat if, and then someone says, and they could do it this way, and right. then someone says, it'd be even better this way, and then, yeah. like, one idea will mutate into drastically different ideas. Yep. Yeah, definitely. We got the next screen. This so is the third part. This is the third one. This is kind of where the blooper reel bit starts to ramp up. So, cuts yelled from off screen. And then we go to, uh, you know, the typical director cinema. Clapboard. Clapable yeah, clapboard. Yep. The slate. The slate. Oh. The slate. There we Nailed go. There we go, Burke. Uh, yeah. And then it just goes on from there. And then reset to the punch. So it looks very similar, but the jaw is gone. Then we concept the heads flopping back, mm -hmm. if you could tell by the way. Yeah. Right, right, right. In case you don't know, head flops back. Head right. flops back. Uh, head flops forward. <laughs> cut. Johnny's not too happy about it. I always love how the victim and he's, is always just kind of happy looking. Right, right, right. <laughs> like, he's got those big eyes. Yeah. He's, yeah. He's, he's not mad. No, he's not. He's fine. Take two. Cut! Take 11. Everyone take five. <laughs> the tongue is awesome. The tongue is amazing. Yeah. Uh, <sighs> Who hired this guy? What the fuck? You know, I describe her as a pretty well-rounded character. She has a little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. I don't think she excels in any particular areas, but she kind of has an answer for a jack of all trades, I yeah. guess. She's got a lot of gadget. Well, with the robot, I mean. Yes. She, has... she also uses her drone all the time now with various moves. They're kind of like a team. Yeah, I mean, it's it's her buddy. Yeah, it's her buddy. Um, she also uses her gun a lot more now. You can see in a lot of her combos. I'm a huge fan of that one. That's so cool. And she has uh, a bunch of special moves using it. Ooh. You can see other combos using it. Yep. How badass is that? So let's go over a few of her key normals. I think her... her Key, like this is the move you want to use, is your back two. It's a really fast mid, it yep. covers a lot of range. It has a thing too. Yep. yep. She ends it in this little shadow kick. And it actually has a crushing blow. Mm -hmm. If only the last part hits, it triggers a crushing blow. So it almost encourages you to miss the first two hits. Yeah, well, it's also a thing where if you're using it in your mid range and you're not doing the third hit because it's unsafe right. and the opponent you think they're going to try to poke, 
and they get hit by it, it triggers. This is one of the trolliest. It's so fun when it hits, and it, it happens a lot. And the opponent always feels dumb, and it's super satisfying to do. Having me today. Yep. I felt dumb. Yeah. Uh, she also, her Shadow Kick is actually not a special move in this game, it's just a normal attack, but it's wow. extremely quick. But it's not full screen like her dad's. Right. She also has back 1-3, which is her low combo start. Ooh-wee! She does not get a huge combo, but this is one of her few pop-ups. And I would imagine getting him in the corner with that too. Like was, then she can start to get swaggy. Like yeah. TPJ has his swag combos and stuff. Sure. The thing is, she does not have an overhead starter. Right. She, like a lot of characters, has one great overhead and one great low, but the other one they're not so great. Sure. So she these high damage 50/50s like the last game. Sure. But it's still kind of there with her pop attack. And uh, let's go over her base special moves. Yeah. So her gunshot's back, but she uses both, and she can actually have this cool mechanic where she can charge them with energy to do more damage. Shadow bullets. And if she fully charges it, crushing blow. Crushing blow. That's a major dammy. She can also cancel it. So I believe opponent, I believe we say eye popping damage. Eye popping damage. <laughs> I apologize. And this is something she can do up close to keep the pressure on. So while you know, again, she doesn't have like damaging 50-50s. She does have strike throw mix-ups and pressure mix-ups, so she's still going to be really good up close. Another one is up shadow kick, which is super fast. It's a great combo ender. She can amplify it to drop them back down. This is good damage. And uh, I guess it's time to go into uh, her. Oh, I, Come on, I knew Steve. I was thinking of something. Her low blow. Like, I knew I was thinking of a classic move. Yeah, yeah. it's funny because I, I saw your brain stop yeah, for I, a second. I clearly, like, and then I forgot her, her most awesome move. So she literally kicks you in the balls, and then she gets a lot. I mean, she does. And then she gets a lot of, uh, a she, lot of hit advantage. We say groin. I'm sorry. Crotch. If she amplifies it, she does the Shinsuke Nakamura. And, <laughs> and uh, she gets the knockdown and big damage. This also has one of my favorite crushing blow requirements. Uh, you hit them with the second one while they're recovering from the first one. Can you do it? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, there you go. Yeah. Oh. oh. <laughs> yep. That's just messed up. <laughs> <laughs> Not that easy on stream, is it? To yeah. do though. Now it's time. At least I eventually got it. I got for you, too. we had to delay this stream for an hour. Right. Yeah, that's, that's true. That's why we're going long. So today. let's go and do some loadouts. Uh, the first is I gave her a loadout based on gunplay. Mm -hmm. So she has a low gun. This is one I'm a, I'm a huge fan of zoning, so I like this. It's very fast. You know, for straight shots, it takes a lot of startup. So this is more of a quick projectile. Mm -hmm. I also think the amplify is super cool and oh, stylish. Awesome. Woo! To complement that, I gave her this flip out, this totally wicked flip out, totally where wicked. it gives her some mobility, it gives her a knockdown. I use it at the end of strings. And then lastly, I actually gave her an air shot ability with a really cool amplify that. Oh! This, if you're entering an early online tournament, like a day one tournament, equip this and do this, you're getting like a free 20% in total for people <laughs> forgetting about that. I guarantee, that's a guarantee. We should also go over throws real quick, mostly because of this throw. Jeez. The clothesline, the, yeah. the, the Legion of Doom clothesline. All right, so that's her, her gun kata loadout that I made, Commander Cage. Let's go to another one. This one, I just want to preface, I love this jacket. I, I literally would buy this jacket if I could. All right, all right. Um, so this one, I made a melee, melee one. I, she has this shoulder, which I always use when I play. It's a great combo under. And I absolutely love the amplify. That's just mean. I love how the robot also accessorizes with her outfit. Yes. Yep. Like, I great. picked this robot on purpose because of the, I'm all in on this loadout, the glasses. I'm super geeking out. Yeah. Um, this is another one of the two-player animations that I thought was boring. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, the second thing I gave her is a more classic flying kick. This goes almost full screen. It's super, super quick. It has a crushing blow if, they, if you're, it's a counter hit. 
So this is kind of a move that you use as like a general check. It's similar to Kano's. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, it's very similar to a Kano ball or, or a Jade Shadow Kick. It's if you think the opponent's getting antsy, you kind of throw this out and it'll catch them. And you called this totes cool. Absolutely. Okay. I'm okay with that. Uh, and then lastly, I gave her, she has this air escape using her drone. She can use it to get away very quickly or use it to advance. And she can do jumpins off this. So if you've conditioned the opponent not to want to hit a button because they're scared of this, mm -hmm. she can suddenly go in without warning or actually get away and go into I'm out. her zoning. Uh, and she absolutely would say, I'm out, I'm out, I'm in, mm -hmm. I'm out. <laughs> so, so one more. One more loadout? Let's do it, I'm, I'm thinking like space age futuristic Cassie. Oh, are you like predicting the future? Or? Well, I made it. Right. So, so that's literally what we're about to see. Speaking yeah. of that. Right. Oh, yeah. That's so cool. So this one focuses on her drone. My drone BFF. Yes. <laughs> the first move I gave her was her bitch and bubble. Bitch and bubble. This does dot damage while the opponent is in this enormous bubble. You can use this in your block strings. You can just use it while you're zoning. And the opponent's going to have to deal with the bitch and bubble. Bitch and bubble. To watch out for it. Now, is it always going to um, put the bubble right in front of you? Yes. Or can you put it in different... Uh, it's always going to be okay. right in front of her. So this is good if they're in the corner sure. or after a knockdown. Just trap them in the bitch and bubble. Yep. While they're stuck in the bitch and bubble, they're going to take a lot of dot damage. Sure. Secondly, she actually has drone control, where she takes out her celly, <laughs> and then she actually gets stance-like moves that she can do from the drone. She has these bombs she can drop. My favorite thing to do <clears throat> is to take the, the electric burst and like push them off the screen. <laughs> like It's so much fun. And at any point, she can actually stop using it, let it go. So again, she actually will have some pressure from that, and then the zoning moves of that. Boom, boom. And I love even just the animations of her with the phone. Yeah, like where she's just swiping. So and you good. can see I can actually have bitch and bubble out and use drone control Ooh. while the bitch and bubble's out. So that's Cassie. I would awesome. describe her as a versatile, well-rounded character that's going to be not the best combos in the world, not the best mix-up in the world. But she she's strong in any position. In pretty much any the, position. That's, yeah, at least absolutely. that's how I play her. And her abilities, similar to what we said about Kano. Very varying play styles. I personally play a melee, melee style. I mm -hmm. use the shoulder, I use low gun, and I usually use the flying kick, so I can play the mid-range close-up like I like to play. But if you're a trap player, you can use the bitch and bubble. She has a couple other versions of that. Right. She has a, a cool- the burst one. Yeah, yeah. She, she has several different ones, so you can have better combos, better setups, better zoning, How better counter zoning. However you want to play this yeah. character. Her M2 is very interesting because she actually goes backwards and flies down like a dive kick. Yep. Is that a laser gun now? Yeah, yes, because it's sci-fi. Every loadout, I actually go all in on the lore and how I want it to look. So yes, I use a futuristic laser gun specifically because of this. She also has like tracking goggles, like if you could see up close, mm -hmm. you can see they have like a targeting system and stuff. I'm. No. I'm actually actually kind of insulted that you would ask, is that a lady? Turning on Shao Kahn was poor sport. He hired you to punish me. Hired? I'm doing this one for fun. A stream on stream. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, nice. Uh, uh, Tyler immediately does a random cane ball that whips. <laughs> Oh! I didn't know that. Uh, oh, wow. That was good, dude. Thank you. Now, that crushing blow, the requirement is that you successfully parry a move very late in its active frames. Mm. I'm getting this getting blown up with these. Yeah, this is not. Blows. It's not looking good for you. The nice thing is, you can only do each crushing blow one time per game, so the way to look at it is a common one like the uppercut, at least he can't do it to you again. Now, Fatal Blow is available, but it would be very unwise of Tyler to use at this point. That would be a very so bad that, read. I didn't, that's, that, that, that was a call out. Yeah, I got this, though. I'm just leaning back here whenever you're ready, pal. I got you, bro. Okay. Let's see how Tyler adjusts, because the parry was really hurting him. All right, that's good. Now, zoning against Jade is very ineffective because of her aura. Oh, 4-4. Four, four. Overhead. Jade's overhead has a lot of range, but it doesn't do a lot of damage, and it's unsafe. So, while she can do it a lot, because it's, the range is so good, it's not that great on block. 
Oh, parry again. Let's see if Tyler gets something going. Oh, now Lowe's will beat the parry, so it's a great idea. He just mistimed it to go for that. Chainsaw is in play here. Ooh. Oh, he wasn't used to the meter burn. Oh, not punishing it. He's got to do that low. Oh, fatal bluff. Woo All right, that's going to probably tie it up. That's going to be some good Tyler damage. might even have the lead now. Now, the thing is, Derek's fatal blow is now in play. He definitely isn't afraid to do it. No, no, no. Oh, knives. Let's see if she can get Aura out. Now, Aura is punishable. He would be able to... Oh, no wake-up attack. Oh, he went for the Thor 3. No punish, though. Nice. Okay. The second round was definitely a lot better. Than the yeah, I... I uh trying to figure out how to... I know what to do differently. I just right. need to think. Like I said, like we talked about earlier. Yes. I gotta think about everything I do and not just throw things out. I didn't use, like, the my game plan. Though. Yes. So I wheel, I said no. Intros. You sold out Kotal to Melina. My loyalty's always for sale. Which is why no one will miss you. Round one. Fight. <laughs> It's really a shame to see Kano get beat up in his own house. The Black Dragon is cool. Well, Kano's probably a terrible leader. Alright, good Kano ball. Ooh, I don't think a single one of those parries has been punished. Oh, 4-3. All right, no punish there. I don't know, Derek is really dominating the mid-range here. All right, there we go, there's that overhead. If Tyler's gonna make a comeback next round, it's definitely gonna have to be doing more 50-50s, so I like seeing that overhead. He's just leaning back. He's just mashing so hard to his tech throws. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Now Kano actually has two crushing blows for his throw. He has a forward and his back throw both have a crushing blow. And uh, for fatal blows, or sorry, for uh, crushing blows on throws, the requirement is the opponent tries to tech and fails twice in a row and you actually get a crushing blow on a throw, which is a very powerful tool to have. Oh. oh. All right, oh, go, gets in. Goes for the Kano Ball. Now, Tyler does have Fatal Blow. He goes oh, for it. He goes for dud, it. Dud. This That's going to do it. It'll be close, I think. Yeah, it'll be really close. I think it's not going to do it, but it'll be real close. It'll be chip damage from a Kano Ball away, probably. No. Oh, oh no. goes for the knives. All right, Tyler's making a comeback here. He's going to take Quick a snack. bite to Quick eat. Snack. That is truly filthy. Fight. He also just peed on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. All right, it's pretty close. Pretty close. Oh, vanishing wins. Oh. All right, there we go. Still not punishing the parry. Yeah, I'm trying. Oh. All right, knife toss. Knife toss. Oh, there's that projectile immunity. Definitely one of Jade's best traits. Oh, oh, double low. Uh -oh. oh, overhead, overhead. Now you just gotta watch out. You gotta watch out for that fatal blow. Mm -hmm. Oh, finishing wins again. Good block, good block. It's on cooldown now. Now that's a nine second cooldown. It's a nine seconds is a long time when you're. Oh no! Down. And you see it came back right after the match is over. So we have gone from domination to a dead even match that you barely scraped by. This is pretty intense. All right, one, one, let's do it. Keep the black dragon out of Outworld. Gotta go where business takes me life. There's none for you, Kano. Round one, fight. Normally, this would be the part where I talk about momentum and changing up your strategy, but Derek's not going to do that. Nope. He's going to do the parry constantly. Yep. 
And you have to kind of admire that. They're committed to, you know, someone committed to their playstyle. Oh, good air ball. Yeah, Derek's having a lot of trouble getting his stuff out right now. He did block that low, though, so that's good. Overhead. You can see it really adds up. Like, it's not a lot of damage. He's not going to combo, but a couple of them add up. Good blocking. Did not amplify. Did oh, not nuts. have. Oh, nuts. Oh, nuts. Oh, nuts. All right. Tyler is actually close to making this huge comeback. After that game one, he has really calmed down. We'll see if Derek can make an adjustment here. Oh, good shadow kick. The shadow kick is a high, so you can duck and punish it. But, as I was saying earlier with Kano, it's conditioning. If you're sitting there ducking, you're not playing the game. A lot of times, in my opinion, the lower to mid-level players make the psychological mistake of saying, but it's punishable, I can't do it. When the opponent can't punish it while also playing their game. It's always a balancing act, in my opinion. Both knives actually catch me there. You could I literally hear it. You could I was trying to take him out. Everyone in the audience could hear that mashing. <laughs> there are people in Antarctica, scientists, who could hear that. Both fiddle blows are available. They're both. You can both hear. No, no, no! no! That there's never been a better Tyler and Derek ending than both. <laughs> oh, crap! That's it. We have a new champion. What do you mean that's it? Well, well, two.